Hello guys, right, channel update for you. Um, LCO, next weekend. Now I'm going to be picking up um, Idik beer. I'll probably spend the night at his so we can leave in the morning because obviously driving from way down south all the way up to Liverpool is going to be a trek. <laughs> so yes, definitely looking forward to that. I've got my list all packed up and sorted and um, no disclosures on what I'm taking. I could take one, I could take the other. I'm still not a hundred percent on which one I should take to the tournament. I know which one I well, I know which one I should take if I want to do any good. But I just want to go up there for a laugh really. <laughs> um the elder list, now, obviously. I should really take that. Because that's a hell of a cheesy list, and um, I possibly could do really good with that force. But then, I, as I said before, don't really know how to use Elder that well. So I could just take Guard and just have a laugh. I know how to use the force, so I won't win, I can guarantee that right now. <laughs> but either way, the amount of channels, it's, it's like 54 people in the tournament. This is going to be brilliant. And I have done something a little stupid for the um, LCO. Just have to do it. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to hopefully make a lot of laughs while I'm there. We shall see. But either way. Um, definitely looking forward to it. Now, 2016, obviously I had a lot of technical issues. I had a, my laptop broke down so I bought a PC, I had the PC wouldn't run my editor and then it wouldn't run a second editor, then it wouldn't run a third editor, Windows 10, uh -uh. I had internet problems, I had all sorts of issues with 2016. So far, into 2017, fingers crossed, touch wood, I haven't had any issues and things are looking to be going really well for 2017. Um, guard list, practically done, elder list practically done they will both be completed within the first month or so within January they will both be absolutely done and dusted finished the Space Marine Order 66 force that I have come up with ideas I should be able to complete that force in 2017 and start the next one not sure what I should do with the next one should I start the Tau? should I start the chaos or should I open up a whole new can of fish and not do a converted army just do a basic um, army so I can have something other than Imperium Obviously, Tau, Eldar, and the Chaos, they're all going to be Star Wars conversions. And they're all alien race Xenos. But I'm thinking about having another force sometime, I don't know when, of just regular 40k, so not converted. Even though that's my thing, isn't it? I like conversions, I like themed armies as such. So I'll come up with a plan for that, but definitely Space Marine is coming next. I'd like to finish off the um, Imperial Order 66 first. So get the Space Marines done, then get the Tau done, then get the Atat done. And there's going to be a very, very small, itty bitty, teeny weeny little faction of um, Skitari. I won't 
just close anything now, but it'll be good. So that will hopefully round up my entire force to a 10,000 point Imperial Order 66. Um, I'm talking to a lot of YouTubers at the moment, setting up a, a lot of potential bat reps through this year. So hopefully there's going to be quite a lot going on. Um, yeah. Otherwise, um, I don't. Okay, my son's not round, so shh. I don't think I'm going to be painting his Space Marines yellow. I think they're going to stay blue. Not only because of time, but because of paint. Buying that much yellow, I mean, going from blue to yellow. Yellow takes a lot of paint because it's a really awkward colour to paint. I know, I painted white. <clears throat> no comments about that one, but I think that one's going to stay blue. I'm not going to paint them. I'm going to weasel my way out somehow. <laughs> so we've got the LCO looking forward to we've got the Imperial Order 66 getting complete we've got the next force getting started um, not going to be painting that one and um, I am conjoining my channel with bat reps to a local guy. Uh, he's got his own channel, Warhammer Will. Check him out. He's a brilliant guy. Um, he, him and I, we're going to be sorting out a lot of bat reps because we live in practically the same area and we go to the same uh, gaming store, 40k. And hopefully, him and I are going to sort out a narrative campaign as well so yeah Warhammer Will check him out otherwise we was gonna do a battle like next week but then I turned around and said no we're not gonna do a battle next week I'm in Liverpool I'm about 600 miles away not not happening <laughs> so I will but tournament you know what they're like okay um i think that's everything yeah i think so so we've got the elder blah 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 yeah okay then hope you enjoy guys good luck with uh 2017 there's everyone every channel everywhere make it worth it Let's make 2017 the year for 40k. Take it easy, guys. Good gaming. Just for, forgot to mention something. Um, I'll splice this video in. So, that will be sorted. What is it? Um, one thing I'm forgetting. No, two things. What is it? Main thing. Hmm... What is it? Yes. My Adele. Um, I can't say it's working because it's still not. But I've got cheeky. I've discovered a way to work around my editor. So instead of just editing the video and then putting it straight up onto YouTube I edit my video I make a copy of the edited version and save it straight onto the PC I then go back to the editor and then I save the actual editor edited thing over the copied version I then get back out of the editor go straight onto YouTube and then 
upload the video <laughs> from the PC, not from the editor, straight onto YouTube. It's a really silly way of going around it, but it seems to work. So, even though it takes three times longer, I still can edit. So, future battle reports, they can come back into play. And I have ideas to make battle reports better, like technical ideas with the editor and that lot. So, hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm going to start producing some good battle reports, not just a guy with a camera. <laughs> But the other thing that I wanted to mention is I have an idea in my head for a logo and a starting miniature animated thing for my YouTube channel. I need to find someone that I can give that idea to that can produce it make it into a video so I can save it and use it wherever I want so if anyone can do that for me please leave it in the comments and um, I'll get in contact with you and hopefully we'll get the official Scrag Guard logo and a miniature movie to go with so anyone can do that for me get in contact if you know someone that can do it for me get in contact please so that is it editors working better battle reports hopefully if I can edit properly <laughs> I've got ideas so hopefully it should come out okay and um, yeah thanks very much guys take it easy good gaming